Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to go through how to do a smooth speed ramp. So <clears throat> in a lot of videos that I see of other editors, I notice that a lot of speed ramping is very um, choppy, like it's very, uh, the speed is very, it doesn't, it doesn't accelerate slowly and doesn't decelerate slowly and you don't have that much control of it in Premiere Pro. So today what I'm going to do is just teach you how to do speed ramping smoothly. So when you look at people who do good speed ramping, you look at Sam Calder and all those people, their speed, speed ramping is very smooth. So this is how they do it. So the, the goal of it is to get into After Effects. So when you're in After Effects, you have much more control over the speed. So whether you start in After Effects or you finish in After, or you just edit in After Effects, either way, you want to be in After Effects. So if you're in Premiere, you grab the file, drop it into Premiere just as usual, chuck it in your timeline, chuck it in your timeline, there we go, right click on it and then you hit edit in After Effects composition. Now what this is going to do is it's going to open the file in After Effects. So that's where you want it to be because in After Effects you have a lot more control. So once it's in After Effects, um, yeah, once it's in After Effects, what you want to do is just find the place where you want to speed ramp. So, I mean, for this, I, what I want to do is I want to do this kind of motion. So I want to want to come in and then speed ramp into here. That's what I want. So first thing I'm going to do is just chop up the start of the clip where it's a bit wobbly. And then what you want to do is click on it, go to layer, time, and enable time remapping. So this is going to allow you to do very smooth speed ramping. So you go to the point where you want the speed ramping to start. So for me, I want to have this play for a bit smoothly and then go into it about here. So you want to go here and then you want to hit this button here. Now this button is a keyframe button. So you click this to set a keyframe. And it's setting a keyframe for the time. So this time here, the time in the clip, it's setting a keyframe for there. Now the next thing you want to do is just move ahead a little bit. So normally a speed ramp will only be a few seconds, so you go ahead a few seconds. And then you bring the time down over here, and you bring it forward to where you want the speed ramp to stop. Just like that. And then you just play it. Just like that. Now, you'll notice that that speed ramp as it is, is a lot like what you'll get from Premiere Pro. Uh, there is an option for easy ease in Premiere Pro. So you go like that, you right click, and you click um, to keyframe velocity. No, that's not it. Uh, so, so what you do is you highlight both of them and you click this little graph over here. Now this graph is going to give you a visual representation of what the clips look like in terms of speed and in terms of values. So you can see here on this side, normally this this part over here and this axis here is the, 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 the uh, speed and the, so the time axis. But when you bring it into this graph format, this is the time axis, which means that the steeper it is, the faster it's going to be. So you can see here it's normal speed, normal speed, normal speed, normal speed, and it goes super steep, that's where it's speed ramping, and then it stops, and then it's back into slow. Because the steeper it is, the faster it is. Now, what you can do is you can click this button over here, and this is going to easy ease them, but this this is going to have make it ease into it slowly and then ease out of it slowly and Although that's what you can, you can click that, that's not what you want to click for this video. What you want to do is you want to look at this, you want to select one point here, and then you want to select the matching one here of where you want to put the toggle. So, because you want the toggle to be on the left side of the point, you want to hit this one here. And that's going to put a little toggle here, and this means you can change the speed of it. So, what you want to do is just stretch it out, and make sure that this line over here is, is in line with this. That means the speed is going to match when it comes back to normal speed. Now, 
exactly the same you do on the other side so it's not just starting so you can see on this, this side here it's slowing down when it comes back into it but what you want to do also is have it slowly speed into it so come over here click this one here because you want the toggle to be on this side just like that and now you want to pull that out and you want to make sure just like like last time you make sure that this is in line with this one here Otherwise, so for example, if you don't and it's like that, what it's doing is it's bringing the time back. Look, I'll show you and play it. So you've got that little, little goes back in time because this is going down. So you want this to be in line with it if you want the smoothest transition or the smoothest, smoothest speed ramp. So if I play it now, you can see that is a very smooth speed ramp. Now what I might do is I might bring this keyframe over here. This is the time for the last keyframe. So if you bring that in, what it's actually doing is this. It's making it steeper, which means it's actually going to be faster. So I'll have to take this one again and make it parallel or in line with this one over here. So now if you do the speed ramp again, just like that. Now, you can, can have complete control over this. So if you want to make this even faster, then you can stretch it out, make the angle even steeper. And if you make it even steeper, then it's going to speed ramp faster. And it's going to easy ease a bit into it, a, a bit slower into it. But you see, as you can see, it's not, it's not the most satisfying because it's too fast at this point. So what I like to do is just have it around about the middle, something like that, where you can tell it's speed ramping, but it's not so fast that you can't see what's happening. Like that. Now, that is essentially how you do speed ramping. Sometimes a clip like this doesn't need it, but if you need to warp stabilize it, what I suggest you do is just going to layer, pre-compose, select this one up here, hit OK, and what it's going to do is it's going to leave the keyframes in this composition here. But what it means is if you click into this one here, you can chuck a warp stabilizer on this without getting that error that tells you that you can't have a warp stabilizer and time remapping at the same time. Now I'm not going to do it now just because it's going to take a while, but that's how you add warp stabilizer onto it as well. So that's it right there. So normally what you'll do is you'll hit control save and you'll save it and then it'll update in uh, Premiere Pro. Now this time it didn't because I think I already had After Effects open with a different project. Uh, so it didn't really do it this time. But generally what you want to do is save it in After Effects and it will bring it into Premiere Pro. And that is the best way to speed ramp. Thanks for watching and hope to see you guys next time.